The Cornish countryside is truly a sight to behold, featuring picturesque rolling hills and valleys. It's a hot summer's evening and this provides a perfect opportunity to be out stalking Roebuck. This is not the first time I've come out stalking with Chris Gale and it doesn't take long to find our first deer. A doe and a kid meander out in the field in front of us. It's great to see deer out feeding, particularly the next generation coming through. It's my first outing with the Sow 100 Pantera, fitted with the latest generation Hawk Frontier 2.5 to 15 by 50 scope. The doe is not disturbed by our presence and continues to sit out in the long grass as we move on in our attempt to find a buck. Chris puts a huge amount of time and effort into scouting. He knows his ground intimately, where the deer are and their likely movements. It's a testament to the work he puts in. There's a stiff breeze, but it's constant and predictable. Chris has previously spotted a buck roaming around close to this area. We are keen to catch a glimpse of him. Today the hard work is taken care of by the Hawk Frontier EDX 10x42 binoculars, which offer the perfect balance between weight and optical performance when out stalking on foot. We decide to sit out behind a wall that provides a perfect vantage point to overlook the field below. That's where Chris believes the deer will be located. Patience is key here. I use the Endurance LRF 1500 rangefinder to give me the range data for key landmarks within my arc of fire. This will allow me to make a quick shot if the opportunity presents itself. Unfortunately, we haven't spotted any bucks and head back to scan the fields behind us for any deer that may be out grazing. It's important to scan the fields and margins for signs of movement as the deer are constantly moving around, particularly now the evening is drawing in. As the evening comes to a close, we spot a beautiful young six-point buck being followed by a young doe. He needs more time to mature and so we wave him a fond farewell. It's been a fabulous evening, but it's time to head back and we'll try our luck again in the morning. The next morning, we head out early. The conditions are very different this morning, with little wind and a thick covering of fog. This makes things slightly trickier. Chris is confident we'll see a buck here that's made this valley his home for the past few weeks. This is where putting the time in with your reconnaissance really pays off. We spot a chestnut coloured patch in the valley below and we're pretty confident it's the buck we've been looking for. We make our way down the hedge line using the wall to cover our approach. Using the Pulsar XQ30 thermal imager we can see the buck is accompanied by a doe. This gives us another pair of eyes to try and avoid. We can see that the doe is feeding on the edge of the patch of thistles and we know the buck is not too far away. Using the bushes as cover, we make ourselves as small as possible to get into an advantageous position. The dry stone wall is overgrown with turf and offers the ideal platform from which to shoot. The beautiful six-point buck is making its way up the valley in pursuit of the doe, but has lost sight of her as she's jumped the wall. The buck steps out and offers a perfect opportunity to take the shot. One perfectly placed shot 
and the buck drops on the spot. Well, Chris, you've done us proud again. Thanks ever so much. What an amazing couple of stalks. Yeah, that worked out perfectly, really. It did in the end, but it's been a bit challenging. When I come stalking down here with Chris, it's never straightforward. No. There's, al there's, there's always some form of either weather condition or environmental issue or the traffic just getting down here in the Southwest Peninsula can be pr pretty tough, but it's always worth the effort. Now, we came out last night and we've been seeing a lot of deer. Now, there's does absolutely everywhere and a lot of young bucks. So you've got to be pleased with the, the population here at the yeah, moment. Yeah, the population is doing well. There's, if anything, they may need to be trimmed back a little bit on the does, but overall they're all healthy. There's good young bucks coming through. So Yeah, and, and like this one, the bucks we are seeing are really good quality. You know, came last year, we knocked a couple of cold bucks down for you, but we weren't seeing the, the bigger typical six pointers. But here, even the youngsters are looking really, really strong. So, so what is it about this area that grows big roebuck? I think it's just the they're not disturbed. It's, if a deer is allowed to eat, then it will eat and it will become a healthy deer. If they're pushed around and disturbed all the time, they're not going to want to eat when they want to eat. Yeah. They'll feed it in during the hours of darkness, which is not enough time for them. Yeah. So I think that's a lot of it, is just having settled deer helps a lot with the heads. It's been beautiful. So last night we saw a lot of deer. We moved, moved around beautiful summer's afternoon, you know, good for my hay fever as well. And then this morning, once again, saw a lot of deer. And then just thought we'd have a look here and the fog came out. Yeah, I thought it was game over, to be honest. But you just know where your deer are. How important is the reconnaissance and putting the time into the ground to figure out where these deer are? You, you've got to do it. It's no good going out on a whim thinking, oh, there may be a deer there. You know, you've got to put your time in, otherwise you end up with very disappointing customers. And yeah, but it is great when you see a decent buck. It's great when you get into position. And then he did the work for us. There was a doe down here with him that kind of started taking him up the hill. Now we were a little bit worried because the doe came across the hedge into our side of the field and you panicked a little bit thinking, oh crikey, he's, he's yeah. going to screw it up. Got around the corner and there's a doe 15 metres in front yeah. of us. It's but she was bad. looking back, he was looking up and actually she brought us up to him yeah. and he stood there perfectly for what seemed like an absolute eternity. It did not like a good two or three minutes, it yeah. stood there perfectly for us. It was probably 15 seconds, yeah. but when your heart's beating and everything's really exciting and your adrenaline's up, it feels like a lifetime. But he stood proud for us, first shot straight down, it's my first time out uh, with a Sauer 100 Pantera, I fitted with a Hawk Frontier scope, so that worked well. Of course, Hornady 150 grain 308 ammunition always does really well for me. So I think the combination worked well, the stalk was fantastic, and I just want to say thank you very much indeed again. Well done, yeah. Now it's time for breakfast, I think.